Hey there, Survivors. Cougar here, back with more Subnautica Below Zero Early Access gameplay. And uh, check first things first. We're checking in on the sea truck because we left it here around all these jellies. And sure enough, we left it at 100% health about 30 minutes ago. And let's look at it now. 38% health from 100 to 38 in 30 minutes really cannot leave this here for up to I'd say up to an hour you're probably okay maybe but yeah you probably don't want to be anywhere too far away from it for more than 45 minutes or so and you certainly do not want to save your game with your truck parked here and head back into the uh, I mean save your game when you're back in the in the spires or something uh, with your truck parked here without checking on it because it could very well have gone boom since your last save. Uh, but the thing is, I don't I don't know any way around this other than parking the truck way the heck out there. I mean, we'd basically have to take our truck all the way out to the creep vines to keep it safe, which I guess we're going to have to do. Um, well, let's get in for now and we'll figure out what we're going to do because I need to access some storage. Yeah, guys, I think we are going to shift this out to outside the Glacial Basin, um, just beyond it. I, I do not feel good about leaving it there with all these jellies floating around. They're, they're definitely going to take it out. So let's head back here. Another reason I need to come back out a little bit is because one thing that we need for the snow fox hover pad I do not have and that is silver for a for a wiring kit I think we're far enough out here I don't see any jellies around I don't hear any around let's just take a look around from out here well I hope it'll be safe here I don't see any right around here I feel like we've crossed the border for where they're going to be so let's just uh, have a quick look around here. Now I need my sea glide. Grab a little bit of silver before heading back in. There's one. And there's a little lead. Titanium and titanium. This is a this is a jammy little sea monkey nest, isn't it? It's a little tight in here. And I did not start with a full tank of oxygen. Have a quick look around, see if we can find some silver. There's one. Okay, we're good. Let's go. I like that sea monkey cave. It's a good one. Warning. 30 seconds of oxygen remaining. Now we cannot actually make the snow fox yet because we haven't scanned all the fragments for it. All we can make is the hover pad for it. But let's get that wiring kit into our inventory so that we have it when it's time to make our hover pad. And uh, we also need titanium for that, but how many pieces? So Snow Fox, we don't know what it's going to take yet, but the pad... will take two, only two pieces of titanium, which we have on us right now. Yes, okay, good. All right, let's go. Leaving the truck here, swimming back into the Glacial Basin to avoid the jellies. You know what? Why don't we go ahead and make the Snowfax, Snowfox hover pad right now? 
since we know we're going to want to build it here eventually and we'll uh, free up three spots in our inventory by doing so. Let's get the habitat builder. The Snow Fox hover pad will allow you to build, repair, and customize the Snow Fox. Now your vehicle can look foxier than ever. Hmm. Foxier than ever. That's what we want, a foxy snow fox. I'm just going to explore out here a little bit. I don't know this area very well. It's, it's the, the geography has been like this for a while, but they put some finishing touches on it, and I'm not really sure how that affects things. So you've got a little beach to come up on here. If you, if you don't want the the dock. There's a vent venting here. Oh, man, it's stuck. Okay. Warm me up, please. Thank you. And then just a nice little vista point here to get a beautiful view out over the bay. And then there's a ramp going up there. Should we see if there's anything up there? No, that does not look like they intended to be accessible. Yeah. No. So this is back toward Fire Robotics again. I just want to see if there's a different, any other ways to go. We did not explore. Now we've, we've been through here, and there were no other options from there. It just takes you right out to where Phi Robotics is. And now it's night time. We're going to need our flashlight. Oh, the weather's the weather's been kind to us so far. That's toward Fire Robotics. You can get to Fire Robotics back that way. This looks like it just takes us right back to the dock. Yeah. Yeah, yeah right back to the dock. But there are other ways to get other places from back in here. I'm going to head back to Fire Robotics and we're going to go a different direction out of there. Well, there's Fire Robotics right over there. Let's go up this way. Fire Robotics is down there. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. A ladder. Let's remember that's there. Come back around this way. Five robotics, I think, used to be up here. Or maybe not. No, maybe this was where the, the tower was. Yeah, no more light sticks or anything leading us toward anything here. We're kind of on our own. Whoa! I almost ran right over the edge. Uh, that is a jump you could conceivably make with the snow fox. Uh, we ain't doing it. Not on foot. Let's see if we can warm up in that cave and then go check out the ladder over there. I haven't seen any snow fox fragments, but I haven't really been looking that closely. Plus, it's night. Oh no, we, we're not warming up here. I have to get back down into that cave. Okay. Let's just hang out for a sec. Rub our chilly little hands together.
a little bit spooky out here at night. I do not know where we are. I'll take a nutrient food block, though. Interesting. Another flare. Now we have four flares that we don't need. We don't need all four. This is cool. This is different. I mean, something like this was here before, but not... Not exactly. They've changed this up. Nothing back here, unless that's an ore vein. Yeah, that's an ore vein with... Looks like... Oh, magnetite. Which we need. Can we actually... There's some to pick up here. Okay, this is all pick upable, but you could also probably drill with the prawn suit to get more. There's one more piece back in there that I'm guessing I'm not going to be able to get without drilling. Yeah, okay. Well, three's fine. It's that, it's just like sucking up all the light. That's weird. Is that actually a little cavern there, or what? It's just absorbing light. Hmm. Strange little light flash there. See the see the light going doing weird stuff. Okay, whatever. Sun's coming up, and I'm completely lost. I have no idea where we are. Not a clue. Uh, let's go this way. I think we're actually coming up on the research site that they've been talking about. Maybe. No, they moved it. It was here. This used to be it. Now you can swim here. Thermals. Silver. So we could have gotten our silver right here. That's another vein. There's copper mixed in with the silver there. Why don't we grab a couple? Very, very pretty. I couldn't decide whether to say pretty or beautiful, and it came out very... Nice, they've added some swimmable sections. Thank you. Thank you so much. We needed this. The current is strong in here. Look at the current pulling all the the glowy floaties. Where did this leave us? Boy, I am I'm totally 100% lost right now. I have no idea where in the world we are. Marbled anemone. Formerly known as cave plant. <laughs> good name, good name.
What was that sound? Still no idea where we are. Not seeing any familiar landmarks at all. Dangerous weather approaching. Seek shelter. Quick pit stop here where it's warm. Do a little eating and drinking. Uh, well, drinking anyway. We'll be eating soon enough. Is this where we came up? This is where we came up. Okay, well, I'm not going back that way then. Let's see if there's another way out of here. Not that way. This is the first way we went. All right, we'll just take the first exit that appears. This'll do. Couple more caves over here. Guess we're gonna explore. Let's start on the one on the left first. There's more goodies in that crack up there. Looks like titanium. More goodies here, silver and copper. Maybe some magnetite up at the top. No. Nope. Oh, that was a disappointing cave. Not much to that cave. Ooh. This looks harder to find. What's in here? These are the lights, the, the plants that you shine your light on them and they, they absorb the light and send it back out at you. What do they call them? Glow fungus. Another spy penguin area. Throw the spy penguin back in there, grab some goodies. We don't have the spy penguin yet. And dead end, but... Something wedged in there. More magnetite. I'm just gonna... I don't want to fill up my entire inventory with magnetite. That's two, four, five. Let's make it six. We'll call it done. Again, I'm gonna eat some of these just for the food value. I think that's it in this cave. Oh, look at these beautiful plants. Glacial tree. Dangerous weather approaching. Is Seek the shelter. Temporary name for this. Ooh, purdy. Very purdy. not come across a single snow fox fragment yet. It's not going to be up there. We're going to have to warm up somehow soon. Big antenna up there. Light sticks. Okay. Uh, we're going to need to eat a heat fruit plant or something to keep us warm right now. Hypothermia imminent. Mm. Mm. <sighs> Water purification tablet we can skip. We have the still suit. And that's it for this site. I'm guessing eventually there's going to be a reason to come to these. But th there's not that much more eventually left. So I don't know. Maybe they'll just be decoration in the end. Oh, Parvin's room. Parvin, you home? Did the person who worked here also live in storage? Haha, <laughs> I get it. I thought there was going to be more, but that was his little 
it was, it was just funny. He's saying that this is as, as big as a storage room. And he was in storage too, get it? My dearest Adeline at Rosita. Nice poster. Uh, not dearest. Who says that anymore? Bad. Adeline, Rosita. Everything on the mission is going very well. Do you see now? Your doubts Jukebox. were unfounded. I am loved here, and... Uh, no. Rosita will say, Papa, why do you have to brag all the time? Papa, it's embarrassing. No I want to apologize. Okay, no, that's taking things too far. I know we didn't leave things on the best note, but I want you to know I love you and I miss you. I don't know why I say the things I say sometimes. They just come out. I was going to send you a message saying how great everything is here and how everyone loves me. I've had a promotion to a very important security dossier. I'm treated like a hero. But really, this is a cold, wet planet. The scientists are full of themselves. There's no action to speak of. The only thing I look forward to is weekly games of Alien Intruder, but more than that, of coming home to you. Complain, complain, uh, I am complain. sorry for all the times I did not appreciate you, of our family, uh, or the good life we had. And I... Oh, am I kidding? I can't sell this. What's the use? We're not leaving yet, guys. It was just getting a little stuffy in here. I thought I'd open the door again. All right, another PDA to listen to. If you're not cheating, then you won't mind if I record this conversation. Is that right? I have nothing to hide. Then what were you whispering about with Vin? Nothing. Th that guy is so lawful good, it's annoying. Wait, so you were trying to cheat? But no cheating occurred, so what does it matter? It matters to team morale. If you can cheat in the game, how can they trust you out there? I'm sorry, did you feel left out? Perhaps you would like to make a deal. Ugh, Parvin, no. You're shameless. You really never give up, do you? I don't. That's true. <laughs> Have a manual put that in my next eval. Very persistent. Okay, I'm not leaving yet because this is important. We need to read these. Security log for Frollo Cave. Oh, <laughs> this isn't what I thought it was. My bad. Okay, we didn't have to wait around. We didn't have to wait around just to pick that up, but yeah, okay. There are security logs that you really should read at some point. Parvin was the security guy. He probably knows a lot about what happened here, or at least maybe those security logs and the, the video recordings that he has would shed some light onto it. But that's not done yet. That came out like it sounded like angry. Like I'm done. I'm angry that it's not done yet. I'm not. I'm very patient. Whoa. What's what happening happened here? I sense many things here. Death among them. Whoa, guys. We have stumbled into the beast's lair. And. Should we try to zip through this? Let's let's have a look around. This is kind of an extensive process. This might take a while, but I think it's worth it. A lot of good stuff to pick up here. Well, not good, but crafted materials like that. I think there's a an advanced wiring kit. Yeah, advanced wiring kit here. Another spy penguin fragment that we don't need. There's more stuff to pick up. It must be upstairs. Uh, let me just look around out here real quick before we go up. Okay, so... Hold on. This was Sam's necklace. She never took it off. So Sam was here. This necklace appears to have belonged to Samantha Ayu. She wears it in photos. Now that is the investigator. It appears that your sister's death was accompanied by a significant destruction. Doesn't make any sense. 
Your assessment of your sister's personality in life does not seem to match her behavior prior to her death. I know my sister. She would never destroy a base. Well, baselessly. Architects do not often experience such revelations, as our thoughts and ambitions are linked, and their history remains in the network when we die. Are your feelings confused? I am detecting more than one. I don't know. I, I feel... disillusioned? Worried? I thought I knew Sam better than I really did. When we were kids, I was always the one breaking and rebuilding things. She wouldn't even go into a bake sale without a plan. For classic oatmeal cookies, no less. So serious. She wouldn't have anything to do with my molecularly transformed caramel pretzel lumps. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Your mind goes easily to food. To distract you from your feelings. Okay, I think that's enough mind reading for now. Sam must have been upset. Or rushed. Or both. This wasn't negligence. That's not Sam. This was... something else. Okay, uh, so Sam was involved in whatever happened here. My investigation of the fire excavation site, including the cave entrance and surrounding area, revealed minor cosmetic damage to Altera survey equipment and significant structural damage to the natural cave entrance and supports. Resulting debris prevents cave access without heavy excavation equipment. Only foot access is currently possible. We are reporting two casualties, Pavan Ivanov and Samantha Ayu. Both bodies were found beneath the rubble at the cave entrance. Ivanov had just entered the cave. Footprints were still visible by the entrance. Deeper into the cave, Ayu appeared to have sustained a fall. Poor souls. We will need to investigate a possible connection to the explosive damage reported at Omega Lab. There is a connection. Who is responsible? Yeah. There's an infection. Yeah. There's an infection. Bacteria. The variant. The one that drove you into storage? Eyes on either side of the head, like a prey animal. In my experience, they are quite aggressive. Teeth suggest it's a predator. Yep. Big teeth. Big arm length teeth. Relieved. It is still frozen. Haha. -ha. The attempts, Alan's attempts at humor. Why? Why do we need those? Okay, we have scanned this giant creature, or some parts of it anyway. Uh, now, now we there used to be a sample of the virus. Well, there, there was a syringe here, and then you loaded the syringe into that little guy, or the little guy, the little robot had the syringe, and it it went over and extracted a sample from one of these pustules. But that is no longer the case. Apparently, you now have to insert some other sample in here for it to do whatever it's going to do, and I don't know what that is. Because this is all kind of new to me. Well, it's changed anyway. Um, I wonder if we're supposed to be able to get up there. Let's go have a look. But yeah, Sam was involved in whatever happened here, which appears to be, based on what we've learned from Marguerite, an explosion intended to bring down the cave. Or bring down the entrance to it, or whatever. And apparently something went wrong with the explosives, and they're thinking that um, that Sam died in this avalanche. Or died from a fall, she said, a little farther into the cave. Not sure what that would mean. I have an extra battery for my flashlight. Patrol log, excavation site, day 33, morning. I thought I saw something moving on the screen, but it was just that I sneezed. Wiped it off. Fred's not convinced the Leviathan is really dead, but I've never even seen it blink. 
Nevertheless, I am now undertaking the mandatory foot patrol. Inside the cave, confirming a whole lot of nothing. Creatures still dead, cave still boring. I miss the mining site. At least you could talk to people. Oh, wait now. What's wait now? This? What is that? A rock! I found an interesting rock. That makes three this week. The others will be happy to have a friend. Concluding patrol. Perimeter secured. Nothing to report. End log. Man, Parvin's just a whiner. He just complains all the time. Sorry, Parvin. But... As I was saying, so Sam was involved here. Uh, it sounds like maybe she got caught in the blast or something like that uh, happened. I I'm still not entirely convinced that Sam is totally gone. Hydrochloric acid for us to pick up. Another scan. I think this is the final scan for the creature. New creature dis... Yep, uh, so we've got the final scan, and then this Claws. entry will tell you all about For it. traction on ice? Traction on ice, predator. Traction on other creatures. This is a significant installation. It is a significant... Oh, was heavily invested here. Can I talk now? It is a significant installation, and having explored it to the best of my abilities, we are going to call it an episode. It's been an interesting one, I think. We discovered a lot of interesting stuff. Sort of, kind of advanced the story a little bit, at least found some clues as to what's been going on in here. But for now, that'll do it. Why don't we call it an episode? Thanks for watching, everybody. Leave a like and subscribe if you enjoy the Subnautica Below Zero early access gameplay. There'll be more coming. We'll fit, venture farther back into uh, the Arctic Spires, build ourselves a snow fox eventually, as soon as I find a couple more fragments, and to go visit with Mr. Iceworm. Stay safe, survivors.